Hi everyone and welcome back to my War Games Hobby channel. I've been asked a question by uh, Kurt, uh, one of my subscribers, um, in response to the video I did on painting with contrast paints and speed paints, the comparison that I did. And he asked me what colours I used for horses. So this is in reply to that Kurt. You can see from the, the ones I've done here, these are a load of my Napoleonic uh, French and Austrian cavalry. There's quite a variety of colours that I've used there. Now all of these were undercoated first in Corax White, which is one of the Citadel uh, paints that I use. And you can see there's quite a variety there. And it's based on, um, if you look at these two uh, photographs of horses, I generally use that as a comparison as to what I'm going to be doing. It is fair to say that the majority of the horses I paint uh, are usually a dark, a dark brown or a chestnut colour, which seems to be the most common um, colour, certainly that I've seen of horses. But it's nice to have a bit of a variety. And in there I've got some um, other colours, some lighter colours, some greys and some blacks. And, uh, and it works pretty well. Now the colours that I used are... There's say it's seven main colours actually that I use, up until now I have anyway, and you can see them here. So from left to right, uh, the first one is Skeleton Horde, and then it's Agaros uh, Dunes, then Sigor Brown, then Gore Grunter Fur, uh, Black Templar, Basilanium Grey, and Space Wolves Grey. They're the seven colours that I use mainly, and you can see these here. I've, I've painted up these seven horses in those colours. And you can see, you know, uh, they, they're, they're fine. I do the majority uh, of the horses, as I mentioned, in, in dark brown and, and maybe the the fourth one along from the, from the left, which is a good chestnut colour, and that is the Gorgranta fur. And they say Saigo Brown being the other colour. And then I mix the others in. I do like Skeleton Horde and Agaros Dunes. There's not much in it, one slightly darker than the other. And then obviously the grey horses in, 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 in below, Black Templar, Ballas Canum Grey and Space Wolves Grey work pretty well as well. Because some of the officers and some of the trumpeters and maybe the flag bearers would be on more distinctive coloured horses. There's three others on, on this photograph that you can see which I've tried to use but they don't work quite as well. Um, the first one is Griff Charger Grey. It's, it's almost like a, a blue grey really and you can see from this picture what they're supposed to be used for anyway because these, these paints really are made for sort of fantasy war gaming. You could get away with it, I have to say. It's not too bad, but when you compare it to the other um, grey, it's, it's a little bit of a bluey grey. Then we've got the um, Apothecary White, which is okay. I just haven't used one yet, but I will probably do one uh, next time I, I do some horses. And the last one, it was a bit one, I'd, I'd, I'll give it a try anyway, and that's Nasdreg Yellow doesn't quite work it's a little bit too orangey yellow really but the skeleton horde and aragus dunes work to cover the sort of the dun and the strawberry roan and the palomino type colors or buckskin is another one uh, so yeah uh, it, it, they, they they're the ones i've been using the last thing i wanted to show you was the difference in the different undercoats that you can get the results only on sort of light colors really because the dark ones, it doesn't make that much difference. First one um, I used is Corax White. Then the next one you can see it's, it's slightly brighter as well. I just used a white matte colour as a base coat. Then I used a Wraith Bone, um, which is again another Citadel, Citadel paint, and it's hardly any different to the to the white. And the last one, which I painted under coat of grey, it doesn't really work, does it? I don't think. But any of the other three are fine. So depending on what base coat you use, the colours will vary very, very slightly, but not a huge amount. Obviously, a pure white will make everything a little bit lighter that you put over the top of it. But uh, 
the main colour I use, I spray mine in Corax white and I can use Wraith Bone as well and they, they, they work fine. Now I haven't actually got the um, Army Painter paints anymore so I can't use, I can't show you what I would use on those and when I had them to paint those um, infantry I had last week uh, I didn't obviously have any horses to paint. Um, but you can see on the, on the colour chart that I, I show here that there are a couple of um, colours you could use, but not, not as many. I don't know why they don't do a dark brown. Or maybe they will be doing that. But in the box that I had, there was no dark brown. The, the hardened leather, I suppose you could, uh, you might get away with it as a chestnut sort of colour. But, but I actually haven't been able to try it. So you'll have to experiment with that one yourself. Um, the holy white might be actually uh, quite a nice colour as well. But there's a few on there that you get away with, but not as many as contrast painters, which is a bit surprising because Army Painter, I see that as more of a sort of a historical painting than, than the Citadel range of, of uh, contrast paints. But there's more choice on contrast paints, as far as I can see. You may be able to tell me differently. You may be able to find that you will be able to buy different colours that Army Painter do, it may be in the future, if not straight away. But at the moment, they haven't really covered, I don't think, as many colours for horses as, as contrast. I hope you find that useful, the paints that I've used, and I've got pretty good effect with them. They're so easy to do. I mean, I hate painting horses, I think most people do. But certainly contrast paints, um, the ones I've used, seem to have made it a lot easier. Right, so I'll see you again soon.